Ross the Boss here, Ross the Boss Band. I play guitar. The new record is called Born of Fire. It's on AFM Records. It drops March 6th. And uh, you should listen to it if you're into heavy metal and power metal and whatever. It's incredible. First concert, yeah. All right, so I was like, real, I'm like I must have been 13 years old or something. I was born in, I was growing up in the Bronx. So my friend, my friends took us, took me to a show and it was Vanilla Fudge and and every mother's son opening i never you know they had a song they had a teeny bop song on uh on am radio come on down to my boat baby okay but vanilla fudge seeing them blew my shit in the toilet i never saw anything like that before uh that was the beginning of heavy metal i think they were definitely you know i told carmine you know i said you changed my life motherfucker i blame you you know, so I was really influenced. It was so heavy, you know, really heavy band, Vanilla Fudge for the time, and uh, it was a, it was mind blowing how innovative and new that was. That sound, you know, I, I, Black Sabbath had to be in, influenced by that. They, you know, Tony Iommi had to seen that, you know, uh, or heard them, you know, and they did. They they stretched these songs out. You keep me hanging on to more of uh, in an oper operatic mode you know and they had these vocals i mean the guitar player wasn't so you know he was just there he wasn't anything special but uh the the organist the drummer tim and tim bogart on bass is one one of the, the greatest bass players in the world so uh, it was an incredible band my, my manager sandy proman from blue oyster cult and the dictators he said that that vanilla fudge was when they went to england with the first band to use the stacks and marshals and then, then The Who and Jimi Hendrix and everyone was influenced by that. So that's how influential uh, Vanilla Fudge was to me.